For years, scientists believed the human brain was protected from microscopic pollutants. That assumption is now being challenged. The brain is shielded by the blood-brain barrier, a highly selective filter designed to block toxins, pathogens, and foreign particles from entering neural tissue. Microplastics are plastic fragments smaller than five millimeters, many thousands of times thinner than a human hair formed, as plastic degrades through heat, friction, and time. These particles have been detected in drinking water, seafood, salt, and even the air we breathe, allowing them to enter the bloodstream through the lungs and digestive system. Peer-reviewed studies have already confirmed microplastics in human blood, lung tissue, and placentas, meaning exposure can occur before birth. More recently, independent laboratory analyses also identified microplastic particles within samples of human brain tissue. Researchers are not claiming immediate neurological damage, but they agree this discovery raises urgent questions about accumulation, inflammation, and long-term cognitive effects. This isn't panic. It's evidence, and evidence changes what we need to ask. What question should science be asking next?